Well, this journey has really been all about the students. And so we're an institution of higher learning. We have to focus on what is it, what's best for our students. And so any time that we look at our strategic plan, we're moving forward, our focus are the students. And so when we started our strategic plan years ago, our, our students told us that we need more academic programs. We need programs that will keep us here four years. We need housing cho choices, dining choices. They want, you know, Division One athletics, they want more opportunities there. And so if you look at our history over the last seven years that, that I've been here, it's about identifying the obstacles that are staying in place or that, that are in, in front of our students and then eliminating those. And so we've added over 111 programs. We've added two uh, facilities for housing. We've added the state-of-the-art facilities in human performance and science engineering. This was one of those things where our students were telling us, when I'm going to an interview, I have to explain the name. It's problematic. People outside the area don't understand it. I'm not getting the opportunities. And although that we've been growing tremendously, we've had a lot of enrollment growth, we've had faculty and staff coming here, our job as an institution is to look to the future. What's going to stand in front of our students from having success? And so we don't wait until there's a problem. We try to foresee what the problems will be. And so this process was really important for us because uh, it's about the students and about their future and, and what can we provide to our students now so their future can be really bright. What's, what's nice is that we, we will never forget our history because it's always going to be on our, on our campus. And I think this um, heritage committee that was outlined by the legislature will also provide us a venue for being able to look at our past, uh, create a center or a museum or some mechanism for us to remember that. And I think it's important for our students too to remember where the institution came from so that they can be a part of where it's going. And we're going to keep the D on the hill. We'll whitewash that. Um, you know, I've done it every year but the COVID year. And, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and, and it's an opportunity to share with our students, you know, this is the history of this great institution. This is the history of the community. This is this was what made it great. And then as they come as students, you know, they can use that as a pattern is that, you know, you're here right now, but you can become so much more if you capitalize on all the opportunities that's provided you. And I think that's what this institution has done. It has capitalized on opportunities that the community has provided it. Utah Tech University is a strong name. Uh, people will know where we're at in the state of Utah. I think our community, as they responded to the focus groups, they want to know that we're in Utah. Uh, the tech piece is, is big for us. If you look at where the county's going economically, if you look at Tech Ridge and what the tech companies and attracting that, um, it's also open doors for tech companies to come to us and say, you're a viable option for tech talent here. We want to come, we want to hire your, your, your students. We want to come reside in Washington County because we know the talent's going to be here. Of course, we have to have a new word mark and, and logo, institutional logo, we'll have to have a new seal. So um, we've hired a firm to help us with that. And so we'll create focus groups and we'll include the community, of course, and, and all the campus community to identify that. That will be the, probably the first item of business is to get that solidified and then the rebranding of the institutions from our, our websites to our signage to all the internal things that have Dixie on there. There's a lot of um, branding that will have to change. Uh, we don't see July 1st as when we start rebranding. That will probably be the latter end. So you'll start to see things change over time. We also have an obligation to our students as we're recruiting new students in, we're recruiting them to Utah Tech University. They'll start next fall. And so you'll see some language and some letters and different things that um, we'll, we'll already be using Utah Tech University because we're obligated to. But we also want to maintain a lot of the signage until after commencement. Uh, our students are graduating from Dixie State University, so we want to make sure that there's signs for them to take their picture next to uh, Dixie State University. And then we'll also be um, very progressive on making sure that everything has a timeline of when it will change out and we'll collaborate with the community to do so. And it's really an exciting time because uh, we're really proud of our past and we're really excited about our future. And so both worlds are colliding together and it's an exciting time in the history of our institution.